And what about blood flow restriction? Have you guys found that to be effective in some of the stuff that you do or not really? So it's it's funny. I actually have a BFR cuff in my bag and I have a band because I, I use it a lot for muscles, but I actually haven't found a ton of efficacy for tendons. I think BFR is amazing. I think the research on it is super robust and we're finding that it's super effective, but it's limited in, in what you're trying to do with it, right? So first off, if you're doing BFR, you're probably at 30% low. And so what BFR has basically demonstrated is that, hey, if you're an athlete who has a sprained ankle or you can't bear weight, you know, the injury is so bad. It's like, okay, well now I, I can't squat because my ankle's messed up. Maybe you do the leg extension or for some reason your your knee hurts or your elbow hurts or whatever else. And it's like, I want a really potent metabolic stimulus. Well, BFR is going to give you that without loading the joint very heavily. I found really good success with muscles doing it. I think it's a really good tool for things like a meniscus injury. So I've seen it work really well for guys like that. I don't usually use it with athletes with tendon issues. I think it could be good for ligaments, actually. It's not going to hurt.